I didn't have any massive expectations going into this movie, guys. I mean, I saw the trailers. There was nothing that stood out for me. The premise looked interesting. But the biggest draw that the movie had going for it is the fact that it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. She marks her directorial debut in this movie. And from that perspective, it's not a bad movie. It's not a bad effort. I mean, I've seen worse movies than this. But with that being said, it's still pretty underwhelming. One of the biggest things that actually caught my eye with this movie was the fact that it really reminds me of movies that came out back in the early 2000s, you know? It has that visual aspect. It looks like one of those movies, and you can definitely tell where she draws her inspiration from. This definitely looks like one of her dad's movies, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think when it comes to carving out your own lane, you need to take risks, and you need to come with something different, something that will make you stand on your own as a director. The fact that it reminds me of old movies. I mean, it's crazy, guys. I don't know if you watched this movie and you got that same vibe from the movie. It just reminds me of movies that came out that time. And the fairy tale aspect as well draws inspiration from her dad's movie called The Lady in the Water, which was pretty bad. But I'm not here to talk about her dad's movies. It's just that the look of the movie, I found pretty interesting. The fact that it feels like it's stuck in a era that's one thing i got from the movie now when we dive into the story dakota fanning plays mina now mina resides in ireland you know she's living a life there small town she even has this thing where she dresses up at night different personality they don't even branch into that they don't even go into that which is very weird now she gets sent on an errand by her boss Car stops in the middle of the woods. It's not starting. Let's go see what's it. Why do you always go into the woods? Like, I mean, just stay on the road. Why don't you just stay on the road and just wait for the next car that's coming by? I mean, that's, that's what a normal person would do. But she takes a walk into the woods and then she stumbles on a group of people that are being held captive by entities known as the watches and that's where the story gets going guys now these people are very weird you know you can tell that they've been there for a very long time so she's the new person in the group the obvious tropes of i need to escape i need to get out blah 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 very familiar something you have seen before and that is where the movie falls short for me guys the script there's nothing in here that will draw you in Nothing exciting, nothing riveting. It's just, it just feels empty, if I'm being honest. Like that. At times, the movie was very boring, if I'm being honest. I didn't have uh, any hesitation to whip out my phone and just go to, through social media because, man, you know, the pacing, the pacing of this movie is horrible. That is the biggest issue that I have with this movie. Like, if it was a little snappier, if there was a little bit of, intensity you know i'm sure it would have it would have went down better than it did but the snail pace of the movie is just horrible i mean for a movie that's called the watches it certainly didn't do a very good job at keeping me watching you know the story itself it's it dives into folklore and fairy tale stuff and i don't know guys like like i said the movie feels dated. It feels very dated. It feels like a movie that should have come out in that era. And if it did, it would have done well. But in the modern climate, I can see why people absolutely slaughtered this movie. You know, and I'm actually happy that I waited for digital. I I would have felt like I wasted my money if, if I had gone to the cinema to watch this. Now, another problem that I have with the movie is the VFX, guys. Oh, my word. The VFX is terrible, 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 terrible. Now, the watches, the entities that I was talking about, they are CGI. I actually think that practical effects would have worked better in this case. You know, if they had gone with practical effects, it would have added a little more depth, weight to the movie. But the CGI is just bad, guys. I mean, coming off of a movie like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and... You watch this and you have a look. It just, 
it doesn't even blend in well with reality. It's that bad. CGI from the early 2000s. It's horrible, guys. And that is where the movie for me just doesn't work, man. Now, with all that being said, a positive aspect about the movie that I can talk about is the fact that I like the eerie and moody atmosphere that the movie creates. That the movie does brilliantly by creating an atmosphere, this woods and the visual look of that. But the VFX, the VFX just let the movie down completely because from that aspect, it could have worked, could have made it entertaining. But even with that being said, guys, the script is what lets the movie down. You know, pacing and the script. It's horrible. It's terrible. And it's based on a book that came out in 2022 by A.M. Shine. I don't know the book. But for a movie to be based on a novel that came out recently, it's, it's a bit of a weird one. Now, from an acting perspective, I feel like the only person that stands out here is Dakota Fanning. I'm actually happy to see her in a movie again. It's been a while. I mean, she's been in some of my favorite movies, Man on Fire, starring her opposite Denzel Washington. Brilliant. Brilliant. And... To see her come back and, you know, carry a movie is great. Unfortunately, your acting is only as good as the script, and the script is lackluster. The rest of the actors, they do a decent job, but there's nothing there's nothing gripping here, guys. There's nothing that stands out. And, I mean, this is a supernatural horror. There's nothing horrific about it. There wasn't even one instance where it was like, you know, that never happens. So from that aspect, the movie just falls flat. And it's a bit of a weird one, guys. You know, I understand that she draws inspiration from a dad. But I think this is the point in her career where she should actually take a risk. And that's what people want nowadays. You know, you want bold directing people to take a risk. Come out with something where you're like, what the hell did I just watch now? They want to look at the screen and be like, wow, I've never seen anything like this, you know. And I'm not saying go for shock value or do something outlandish. I mean, just do something solid. Do the basics, you know. Go back to the basics. Do the basics right. And you'll have a solid movie on your hands. I mean, like I watched Late Night with the Devil. I watched that movie and that movie had... It's a small indie movie, but it had all the right ingredients to keep you glued to the screen, you know. And that's what it's about, guys. You need you need to keep the audience attention going. Don't slow it down to a snail pace. And when you jump scare, people are like, ah, no way this is working. And that's unfortunate. Now, if I have to give this one a rating, guys, I'll give this one a 1.5 out of 5. I'm just being honest, guys. I didn't have a good time with this movie. I didn't enjoy it. It's very forgettable. I'm not going back to this movie. And I actually even forgot what happened in this movie already. It's that forgettable. There's nothing that stands out. Nothing that jumps out of, out of the page. And, you know, it's just a below average movie. Now, I'd like to see where she goes next from here. I'm a massive fan of her dad. And... There's definitely potential here if you watch the movie. Like, it's not all bad, you know, if you look at it from a directorial debut perspective. There's definitely elements here that if she, you know, focuses on those elements and, you know, get a, gets a better script, she can definitely go places, guys. And I believe that her next movie, she will learn from her mistakes, obvious mistakes that happen in this movie now. Please let me know what you guys think about the watches. What do you think? Did you guys go watch it in the cinema? Whoa. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go watch this in the cinema. I I almost did. It would have been bad. Would have been real bad. So please let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to remember this movie anytime soon. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. And I will definitely catch you on the next video.